from the park. Frankie, say hey. Hey. All right, I'm gonna let them know. Okay, go ahead. I almost decided not to film this video for uh, us, for yeah. us. Well, there's one real good reason why not. Okay, MKM, you guys have heard of them because we've done a video on the MKM Asanzo. Yes. I'd like to show that now. Where is it? I forgot it. <laughs> I was carrying it yesterday. I left it on the kitchen island. Yep. Um, it was supposed to be part of this video because we were going to show you our a, collection, a new MKM. <laughs> but we have the knife. Yes. For the video title, so there you go. Thank you. I'll let you have it here. Okay. MKM. That is Monago Knife Makers. So it's Italian. It's a city in Italy. Yes. I think I'm saying that right. Go ahead. Miago. I Do we have to use your fingers? You said it like Miyagi. Mi well, I kind of... Minyago. Minyago. She's saying that, you know, because it's an Italian city, Italians you have to use your hands. Italians have to use their hands. Okay. It's true. Monago Knife Makers, though. It's a city that does all sorts of knife making. Yes. You've got this specialist over here, the specialist over here, the uh -huh. specialist over here. My understanding is this is kind of a collaboration... Yes, it is. ...type of company, and... Well, this is four different manufacturers. It's four? Yes. Okay. Lion Steel, Viper, Fox, and Mercury. I've not heard of the Mercury knife. I hadn't thing. either, <laughs> but okay. it was listed too. It's well, part of it. That's interesting. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, so far we're really loving what they do. I would have yeah. been showing the Asanzo, but that's one of your favorites right now. It is. I, I really it. like it. This showed up on Blade HQ's Instagram probably what? I don't know, a month ago? I think a month ago, yeah. We had to check it out. Mm -hmm. I honestly thought it was going to be bigger. That's what she said. Hopefully not. Okay. <laughs> I really thought this knife was uh, just kind of an average full-size knife, I, I want to say. I did too. I really did too. I got it in hand and I was like, oh my gosh, it's way smaller than I thought it was going to be. We could have looked at the specs. We didn't. But yeah, it's it's 2.8 inch, 2.83 I think to be precise. Yes. So it's coming in under three inches and mm -hmm. it's thin. Well, and I think what makes it look smaller too is the blade to handle ratio. So I wasn't that... going to say that, but it's true. It, if it was like full handle, it would be a lot longer. You could get a little bit more out of that blade. I think so, yeah. But I'm going to go ahead and say I don't mind it. It keeps the knife under three inches, which may make it legal more places. Well, okay. and yeah, maybe in Europe it needs to be under three inches too. You're possibly. gonna, have, you guys are gonna have to tell I us. I don't know what places can you carry something like this. I don't, I don't think too many. Mm -hmm. But anyway, it's under three inches, but it's still a little bit more handle. Yeah, it is, which is good for bigger hands. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, well, okay. I think we're jumping ahead though. Okay. What is the price? It is one ninety nine ninety. There's a bunch of different varieties. Yes. And they actually do go up from there. There is, well, and there's one that's lower in price too. I want to say the Micarta is less in, in cost. Oh, okay. All right. So it's a little bit less. I want to say like $20 less maybe. Interesting. I didn't see that one. Yeah. Well, the other one that we were torn, haha, -ha, mm -hmm. we were torn between this one and the dagger. Yeah. The dagger looks super cool. And now that I got this one, I kind of think we have to get the dagger. Oh my god. We always have to get more and more and more. You guys know that. The big question on that knife is the spine on that dagger. Is it sharpened? We don't think so. No, I don't think it is, but would you be able to? Sharpen it? I think it's close. I think it's close. Yeah, okay. it is. Yeah. Well, and you could just do that little tip like some Microtechs do. Oh, yeah, you with the bayonet I mean? blade? Yes, yeah. Yeah, there's some other knives out there that do that too. You could mm -hmm. just sharpen a portion of it. Okay. Well, what's cool about the other one is that it's red lava carbon fiber. There's a lava Ooh, carbon fiber, yes. yeah. So this one is specifically the marbled. Which is always pretty too. Carbon fiber, which looks excellent. Mm -hmm. I like their uh, their hardware. It is neat, yeah. I like it too. Titanium, titanium. milled clip, just very straightforward design. Kind of a, almost a coffin shape. Yeah, it is. Doesn't it kind of look like that? Well, and what I thought was kind of neat too is, so there's a few different ver variations of it. So there's the carbon fiber. There's also micarta, which is always, micarta is so hot these days. It sure is. Titanium. And then there's a couple options of PVD coated blades too, which is neat too. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. Well, what's bringing up the cost also? All right, never mind. It is a titanium frame lock. They're using European, in this case, M390 steel. Yeah. So that's Bowler M390. That's pretty much, I mean, okay, M390, 20CV, 204P, those are all... Top of the line. The, the same steels that are, yes, kind of top of the line production knife steel. And not even production, I mean, custom makers are using this stuff yeah, too. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah, it's, it's, the summary of the steel is it's got the best of both worlds. Mm -hmm. It's got the edge retention and then it doesn't rust. Yeah. Okay. 
Well, and this is a Zeba design. You guys yes. know of him too, Michael Zeba. Michael Zeba out of Brooklyn, New York. Yes. Yeah, put this together and had them made in Italy. I like it. I really like that I wonder, piece too. I wonder if he is Italian. He might be. I mean, there's a lot of Italians in Brooklyn. In Brooklyn, sure. Right? Yeah. yeah. All right, yeah, the pouch is nice. Their logo, we like it. A patch came with it. Yeah. It's pretty cool. We can put it on Buddy's harness. On Buddy's harness, yeah. Yeah. Well, he that's where a lot of patches go to. He doesn't have enough uh, patches right now. No. Okay. Oh, cool the hand. What do you guys think? It is a little more expensive, okay, mm -hmm. but I don't know. Some of the Chinese knives, you're paying more more than this. Yeah. I'm thinking Wii knives. Um, mm -hmm. Do we same. have an example of a Wii knife here? Um, pretty much with the arrow. Oh, true. Yeah. So I brought the arrow. This is what I carried today. So it's kind of similar size wise. So you guys can see actually how big it is. Mm hmm. Um, the Feist is kind of comparable to, kind of like that Kaiser. slim, gentle person's carry right. knife. And the biggest one that I wanted to compare it to the was biggest? the- biggest? I know what you mean. But you should What's say- What's the CEO? Because look at this. This is way longer than it. There, I got it. I think on the budget end, this is one you definitely need to consider yeah. right now, specifically the, the Micarta version. Isn't that really cool? You know, <laughs> I Micarta, just really like it. Micarta is so hot right now. But you can see it's just that, that sleek, thin carry, which is nice. Yeah. It's a very stabby blade. This is a pretty stand, standard flat grind of a drop point uh, satin finish. Mm -hmm. I've been using it. I've been carrying this knife. You have. You've taken it before I've even gotten to handle it. Which just seems weird, huh? Yeah. It I is. think it's going to be a knife a little bit more towards. Well, I mean, the lady in your life. Yes. Quite possibly. Um, but the guys might just be stealing it for themselves when they open it. Yeah. Okay. So, here's the mini smoke. The mini smoke. Yeah. That's very similar to. That's, well, that's also produced by Wii knives. Yeah. Not also, as in I was I was uh, kind of comparing Wii yes, knives those overall. Two. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what else can you get on the budget end though? Civivi. Well, and this is more expensive. How much did this one retail for? Those I think were 150. We're talking yeah. the Indiana knives exclusive. Uh -huh. This is the Micarta Metamorph, but yeah. it's the mini Metamorph Micarta. It's the Micarta Morph. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it, it had a really long name. All kinds of M's going on there. Oh yeah, we brought the Kaiser Mini Big Letter. That's yeah, pretty close to the same size. Yeah, because it's very similar size-wise. Right. I say the Mini Smoke is the closest. Really a, a pretty similar blade too. And there's this guy. This is kind of an oddity. That's the, that's the Knight's Edge Templar. Yeah, it is. Very cool knife. Not a lot of people got those. No. And then the... Civivi. I, I always forget the name of this knife. Go ahead. Always. Well, it's a, we know that it's the, um, the Isham, Isham design. design. I know. Why do yeah. I always forget it? Well, I actually do know this one. This is the McKenna. That's right. I should get that every time, but I just don't. I don't it's know. It's funny because it's named after a famous McKenna, but anyway, oh, that's, okay. that's all I'll say. Yeah. Dog tooth. That's a production design. That That is overseas built but brad zinker design he's a custom mm -hmm. maker out of florida i believe yes yeah that is the slimmest zt <laughs> that we could find in our collection this year's 707 yeah and it's a monster compared it's huge compared to it compared to the flame i was just curious of how much it weighs yeah i'm gonna say it's not super light no less than three it's it's gonna be two and a half okay get us going there 2.1. I was over. Oh okay. Gosh. Okay. And then let me have the calipers in here. I thought we had the calipers, yeah. Okay. We should be mostly prepared. The handle seems a little thicker, too. Um, Closer to average. Yeah. Yeah, yeah For sure. For being a really small knife, I would say. It's still going to be on the thinner side. How but, thin? Um, 0.4 something. No, he's wider than that. Really? Yeah. At the Show me that you're calibrated. Really? Dang. Okay. It is of average thickness. Well, because it rounds off, so it makes it a little bit thicker in the middle. Yeah. So right there, 0.51, yeah. 0.519, I would round up there. Yeah, it is a chamfer or a bevel. I guess chamfer and bevel are two different things, but it's smooth, that's the point. Yeah. On both sides. Very, there's, a there's pleasure to carry. My only complaint with it, it's too small for me. Yeah. I shouldn't be complaining about that, because I shouldn't be carrying it. Well, there's no hot spots whatsoever on no, it. No, no. 
And that's what's, oh, I always think that the carbon fiber is so pretty when it's this marbled. It's just, Beautiful. Yeah. Well, and it's cool because it's called the flame, and it kind of is flamey looking carbon fiber. Flamey looking, okay, yeah. Right, it's we true. Can go with it's that. a completely good adjective. <laughs> <laughs> I like that the, that the pivot collar actually does match the clip, too. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Yeah. Check out the different varieties at Blade HQ. Mm -hmm. There's going to be um, multiple to choose from. I want to say over 10 different varieties. But well, and I want to say that the Micarta, oh, what is the Micarta color? Check out the little flipper tab. It is a tiny little flipper tab, and it's all it needs. Stiff detent. Works nicely. I oh, know. You guys will have to check it out at Blade HQ. Okay, use our links there. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot for that. I think that's everything except for the fact that we're going to have to get <laughs> the dagger version. The flame? Yeah, yeah. The flame red lava, which I, is really cool. I might just get, have to get the dagger just at a cool factor because typically I don't like double-edged knives for EDC. Mm -hmm. You guys that EDC a lot know what I'm talking about. Yeah. If it's, if it's a false edge in the top, it's still going to be super stabby, right. but it's going to, um, it's still going to be safe in that regard. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. I don't know, they could do some different um, blade shapes too. Probably could do more with that, sure. Yeah. yeah. Just a, the reverse Tanto would look kind of cool too. Like this. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? I think that would be neat. The Feist is a good looking knife. It is, yes. Yeah. It's very feisty. Alright, well we'll put links into the MKM Flame. But definitely check out anything on the table. Actually, just search our videos. You can find reviews on pretty much everything here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright. No, I think that's everything. Cool stuff from Italy. Yeah, it really is. All right. Thanks a lot for joining us.